I love Indiana Jones. He is one of the greatest action heroes of all time, and stars in some of the greatest movies of all time. Raiders of the Lost Ark is amazing, and in my opinion is the best film in the series. The Temple of Doom, while not being as good as Raiders, is still a really good movie. The Last Crusade was amazing, while I personally prefer Raiders, it's still a really amazing movie. And Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, while I do agree that it's an unnecessary sequel and it is the weakest of the films that Spielberg's directed, it's still a really good movie in my opinion. Which then leads us to what is supposedly the final film in the franchise, Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. And... It sucks! Yeah, I'm just gonna come out and say it, this movie is pretty bad and is easily the worst film in the Indiana Jones franchise. There is so many problems I have with this movie that let's just go over them, shall we? The first problem is that for the majority of the movie, I feel like Indy just felt like a punching bag and just an excuse for the team to make all the old man jokes they want. Also, I found Helena to be a really unlikable character. She literally admits in the middle half of the movie that she's only doing this just for the money. Not because she loves adventure, no, no, that would be too hard. She's only doing it for the money. Also, this movie uses way too much CG for its own good. But, let me tell you, that's not the worst thing about this film. The worst part about this film is what happens during the final act of the movie. Okay, according to the description of the plot on Wikipedia, Voller captures Jones, reassembles the dial, and reveals his plan to, and I quote from a real Indiana Jones movie, plan to travel back in time to 1939, but accidentally find themselves in 214 BC. This isn't fanfiction, by the way. This is real. Somebody at Lucasfilm actually wrote this. Now, you might be questioning, are there any good things about this movie? Well, as a matter of fact, there are. First of all, I really enjoyed the score. John Williams showed that he still can make a good score for a franchise. And also, I really did enjoy the opening sequence where it's during the 30s. I really did enjoy that sequence. And I will admit, some of the fight scenes are pretty good and the ending was kind of wholesome. But no matter how many good stuff it has, it doesn't change the fact that Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny is just a total crap show and a really disappointing way to end this otherwise amazing series of films. 4 out of 10. Pretty much the most disappointing film of the year for me so far. First the third film was gonna end the franchise, then the fourth film was gonna end the franchise, now supposedly this film is gonna end the franchise. What's next? Are they gonna go behind their backs and gonna make a sixth film where Indiana Jones meets a bunch of K 